I just remember getting an email notification and it said untitled Donald Glover project. Mm-hmm. And I'm never shy of like saying how big of a fan I am of him, how he can balance music and his acting career. Mm-hmm. So I was like, ooh, I was really excited. It was quick for me to say yes. <laughs> found very true events and stories, whether they be stories from Twitter or various you know, news stories, we found all of them and we put our character Dre in the center of it and told this very full, very rich, wild story of fandom. In some ways we um, never thought, or we thought we'd never seen like a black female serial killer. So we just thought that would be interesting to kind of show as well and just like, you know, kind of create a world where, because a lot of times we feel like there's not a lot of visibility for black women. And we thought in this scenario, like that could kind of work to like their Mm. advantage of like, it could be this person, but you're literally not looking for this person. Why are black women always, you know, we always have our shit together. We always are someone's therapist, we're someone's teacher, we're someone's, you know, we're someone's confidant. Like we can be crazy, we can be serial killers Mm -hmm. too. I just remember getting an email notification and it said untitled Donald Glover project. Mm -hmm. And I'm never shy of like saying how big of a fan I am of him, how he can balance music and his acting career. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ooh, I was really excited. And before I had the Zoom with you, they were like, okay, brush up on the piano teacher in the Atlanta seasons. I was like, oh, I know Atlanta. I was like, piano teacher, what's that about? <laughs> it, it was quick for me to say yes. It was beautifully written. I was left in tears after the first episode when I read it. I just heard that he was making a project and he wanted me to be involved and told me to watch the piano teacher. And I was like, okay, and like, <laughs> like, like, I, like she said, I was watching like, you know, it was interesting. I loved how the camera was all in her eyes. And as an actor, you really, you really like want the opportunity to tell stories from your eyes. So I'm like, okay, that's great. It took a completely different turn. And I was like, oh, I was like, what do they want from me? And, and if I'm that brave to be able to do something like that, she was emotionally stunted. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So that was really what I had to go off on based off of like the idea that what I, what I, I um, take when she when she's asked questions, I think of how Marissa might have answered a question. So a lot of times you see Dre, her eyes move like mm-hmm. like this when she's thinking of something. So she's computing the proper answer to say. And she mm-hmm. might, Marissa said, oh girl, I'm good. So then somebody asks Dre, she goes, oh girl, I'm good. <laughs> you know, like it's not even coming from her. It's mm-hmm. coming like, so that's kind of how it Which is it. a little alien, right? It's that idea of, of, and the piano teacher, it's very similar to that where you're mm-hmm. like this woman, has all of the features of a human person, Mm -hmm. but the way in which she approaches thought process and action feels other, there's an otherness there, there's an alienness there. And I think, I think Dom really just nailed it. No, no, truly. (laughs) And the writer's room, uh, you know, was, it was great. So I was the showrunner, Donald was kind of in and out throughout that process. And Jamal is, you know, one of the top writers in the room too. So like bringing, thank you, bringing, uh, <laughs> bringing Malia, who's our staff writer, <laughs> along with Karen, into the room was it was just it was great. You know, they're both so young, Karen and Malia, and um, and they have like crazy wild pitches, and they're both so funny. I remember we were shooting and we saw her on set. And you were like, oh, Malia's here. You were yeah. like so nonchalant about it. And I was like, Malia's here. And I remember like in passing, we'd see each other like at the White House during Easter egg roll. And her mom has always been so warm and welcoming to my sister and I. So seeing her again, like as we were older and evolved into women and like owning ourselves mm-hmm. and our creative minds, it was really cool. And it felt like it felt like a group of girlfriends when we were on set because yeah. we were in the food court too. Yeah. And it was really yeah. fun.